I don't know why it would be asking me. I don't know either, but thanks, Sean. Sure. Hey, everybody. It is December, <clears throat> excuse me, December 5th, and you're here at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing really well today. It's freezing here. I'm not happy about that, but, you know, it's winter here, so I guess it happens. Um, I have dogs dreaming and snoring in the background. Sorry about that, but that, that happens from time to time. I'm also puppy sitting, so you might see a puppy make a... Uh, a cameo just like Sophia's cat. Um, if you've not been here before, I know we have at least one new person, yay. Um, but uh, just a quick reminder, we are under the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind. And also a reminder that we do not care if you have your cameras on or off, we don't care. We love you just how you are. So you just interact with us however it makes you happy. And that makes us happy in return. Uh, minutes are in the chat. Of course, we're happy to provide them for anybody new who comes in. So um, if we can just like collaboratively watch for new folks, that'd be great. Um, and if you want to tell us how you, since our break is happening, we are going to take this time to relax and rejuvenate. So I just was wondering how people do that. Um, I love to hear different ways or different things to try. Oh, I like puzzles too, Sophia. That's very meditative for me. And of course, yes, sleeping is good, reading. Yeah, all these are great. The beach. Oh, Vinod. Yeah, Mr. Florida. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, beach. Yeah, I'm a little envious about that. Welcome to the Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot different than, uh, than Omaha, I'm sure. So <laughs> that's good. Sleeping, playing football. Love it. Yeah, video games, me too. Oh, yeah, these are awesome. Um, so if you are uh, just a reminder, since we are playing in chaos con we will cut this meeting short a little bit, so we have some time at the end for those who are planning um, that event and that way we don't have to have yet another chaos meeting <laughs> on our calendar, so we will we will chop this a little bit short, but um, this is the last meeting of the year yay yay uh, we will reconvene on January 9th so yeah I'm, I will miss you all very much. I, uh, you know, obviously chaos meetings are, are my life, so <laughs> I will miss everybody, but I do appreciate the break and we do that just for our, all of our well being all of our, um, our mental health and just to keep us from burning out and that zoom fatigue thing is real so yeah that's why we do this. Um, I did want to also mention, however, if you are planning to use the chaos channel during the break, which you are welcome to do so if you want to have small ad hoc meetings um, for whatever reason. Um, there are two things you should know. One is that meetings are going to be set to automatically record. So um, keep that in mind. <laughs> Behave yourselves. Oh. And then the second thing is that you'll need to reserve a block um, because we are um, using that for our onboarding courses. In this downtime we're using the chaos zoom channel um, as a mode to record the things so we don't want you jumping into somebody else's recording if they're in the middle of it, so this is the first time i've tried this I don't know if it's going to work, hopefully it will. Um, but you can just you know get a get a block and they're in 30 minute blocks pick whatever you want, but that way we're not kind of stepping all over each other. If that makes sense, um, so those are the two things that you should know if you would like to use chaos zoom during the break. Uh, what questions can I answer about that? There, yeah, no, I think that sounds yeah, good. Makes sense. Yeah. And if this is something that we want to continue doing outside of chaos times, I don't know if people ever need the chaos zoom for things and then they just don't like if they're just, you know, randomly like I know chaos cast that blocks it off but if there are other things we can also set up these kind of open appointment times that you just grab if you need to use chaos zoom for some reason so just keep that in mind because i know it's kind of hard when we have all the things and we have one channel <laughs> but we get it from the lf so like we don't pay for anything for that so we're happy to use that one channel but we just have to make sure we're not stepping on each other i think it's a great idea okay cool uh, all right, then I will just move on to nice segue into the next one, which is our onboarding courses. Um, I have peculiar on 
um, as well. So Peculiar, I'm going to look to you to fill in any blanks that I leave. Um, but we do have now a contributing.md file that kind of explains how to do things and um, how to contribute if you would like to record a video. I um, mean, for those who don't know what this project is about, this is, uh, we're working on a way to help others onboard into chaos because there's just so much going on here with all of our working groups and our badging and um, just a lot and metrics and models and all of the things. So um, our previous attempts to onboard folks with one hour meetings once a month were not very successful. Um, it's too much information at one time. So we decided we would try doing these courses like literally through a learning management system where you have a path, a learning path that you can go through at your convenience. There'll be quick like five to 10 minute videos on things um, that just helps people kind of um, get, their, get their footing here at chaos. But we are, this is a collaborative um, effort. So this is a community thing. So we have a giant list of um, issues here. And if you see something on here, these are like all the things. So if you see something on here that you're interested in, let either Peculiar or Yiga know about that or me, um, and we will assign it to you. So we kind of know who's working on what. Um, you can also fill out our form, which I didn't link here because I'm awesome, but there is a form you can fill out. <laughs> you can fill out, uh, maybe it's in here, yeah, right here. Um, that just tells us kind of what you would like to help out with in general. Um, yes, Stella, they are going to be just in English for this kind of first iteration. Um, we absolutely would love to translate these into as many languages as possible um, as we go. That would be fantastic. So, um, yeah, we might be calling upon you yet again to help us with translations. Um, but for now, yeah, we're just trying to do it in English for now. So if you know about something about chaos and you think, hey, yeah, I could write a script about the chaos bots or I could write a script for someone else to record about the different chaos chapters, like totally fine. Like we want to include absolutely as many people as possible. Even if you are brand new to the community, we would absolutely love for you to participate and help us build these out. Being the subject matter expert and being a newcomer, we really value your feedback and your opinions. And um, you're welcome to record something, even if you don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can read a script, it's totally fine. So, um, so yeah, we just wanna have as many people involved as possible, um, make this true community effort. So um, what uh, questions do I have? from people that I can answer. I should know the go ahead. I should know the answer to this myself, but is there a place that we can look or that someone could look and say what see what content might be available to either develop or if you just need an actor to read a script uh, to do that, is, is there a place that folks can go to get the info? I would guess the issue volunteer. Yeah. So um Sean, if you wanted to okay. write a or something yeah you would just maybe yeah. uh we would assign it to you and then we would okay. have something else that says yeah record the script for this yeah that would be a different issue oh. we would assign it to somebody okay that's kind of how that's we're awesome. div divvying up that's the work awesome that's mm -hmm. awesome is the um is the structure how many courses are there like right uh, now? Do you have so any we have, yeah we have these ideas for them i'm looking for my uh, I think it's in this uh, contributing where we have the list. Okay. Uh, maybe, yeah, it's maybe it's here. Mm, we do not, there is a list. I okay. Is it um, like in the issues basically? Like if I sorted through the issues, would it give me an idea of what the courses are? I mean, is it like six? Is it 10? Uh, I think it's closer to probably 10 or 20 um, because they're just small, right? They're just like small five to 10 minute videos, but we, so we'll have a bunch of them on various okay. things instead of like one giant welcome to chaos thing. That would just be okay. one. I mean, I guess that's how, how we're going to organize it. That's, that's kind of TBD actually, Matt. Um, that's a good okay. question. If we're going to have like a, here's a course on the chapters and here are the three videos you watch it. Underneath. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Like some path, some pathway, like if you're going to do an LMS uh, management system, like you don't just dump all of them right. in there and just say here, <laughs> start wherever. Free, <laughs> and well, yeah. um, you're free to go. Right. That's a really good question. Um, we haven't, we, we started adding tags 
to yeah. some of the courses in that spreadsheet um, that I assume would kind of like help bucket them into okay. different courses or modules or however you want to, whatever okay. you want to call it. It might make sense to like not immediately, but think about how courses might be temporally related to one another. Yes, 100%. Even if it's just three or a couple. And maybe that's um, maybe that's a way that someone like yourself or a, another acad academic kind of person could help us uh, yeah. figure out how we can best do this for the you know the the maximum learning yep. experience since like okay. that's your gig. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, What other questions do folks have? And again, we are hoping to use some of this downtime um, to record some of these videos as much as we can, just so they don't, you know, we aren't running into other chaos meetings, but we'll do what we can. I, don't, I know it's also like the end of the year, so, eh, you know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is all a grand experiment as we're, we're going anyway, so. Uh, I, I wanted to ask Peculiar, is she still in here? Yes. Peculiar, what else did I miss? I got it all. <laughs> Amazing. All right, go me. <laughs> we got to roll. Take a vacation. That's a rare, yeah, that's a rare thing. So <laughs> thank you, Peculiar. Um, yes, and just so for folks who don't know, Peculiar and Yiga, those are our project managers who are kind of helping organize this whole um, all the moving parts to this project. So thank you very much to both of them for all of their work, um, keeping all the, hurting all the cats here, <laughs> keeping us all in line. All right, well, I guess we'll move on. If somebody does have a question, pop it in chat or raise your hand. Um, you know, we can always revisit a previous topic here. We don't care, we're fine. Super chill meeting. Um, wanted to make sure people know, we decided this morning, we are gonna be changing the day and time of the metrics models working group. Uh, we are moving them to Thursdays at 10 a.m. U.S. Central, and the next meeting will be January 18th. So that meeting has been changed on the chaos calendar, but if you have copied the metrics model um, meeting into your personal calendar, that change will not come through, so you'll need to redo that yourself. Any questions about that piece? Okay. Um, anybody here from Chaos Africa want to give a quick update on anything that's going on in that community? I see a few of you all. I don't want to call anybody out in particular, but <laughs> if anybody from that community wants to just share with us, um, the rest of us, what kind of what you all are working on and what's new, that'd be great. Hi everyone. It's like I've been away for a long time, so I'm not sure I can give any updates. Um, <laughs> but um, I think lately I'm trying to like organize like a really small, but not virtual, like an in person, because I'm based in Lagos and you have like a couple of contributors based in Lagos. So I'm just trying to organize like a an in person meetup, like just have um snacks and you know just chat about the community so i'm trying to put that together hopefully we'll have like people um available for it since it's like getting to the holiday and then people are traveling it's a very common thing here in nigeria for people to <laughs> travel to their home um to their home to see family so i'm hoping we are able to organize something the last Last year, it was in another city in Nigeria. Then I went home to see my parents. So we did that in Port Harcourt, on the city called Port Harcourt. So um, this year, I hope we're able to do one. So yes, that's what we're working on and getting ready for the holidays. So. Fun to get ready for the holiday. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you for that. Um, anything else from anybody else in that community that they want to add? That's pretty much it. 
Sounds good. Um, all right, any questions for Ruth or any of the community members in Chaos Africa? Stella, I don't think that you probably have any updates from your community since you're so new, but if you do and you would like to share them with us, that's completely valid. We'd love to hear it, but I don't want to also put you on the spot. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. What we did is that we had a first meeting during a conference that's called Abre la Tam, which is a conference for everything that's open data related in Latin America. And the reason why I went to that conference is because many of the people who participate there are the like the OGs of open source communities here in Latin America. Many of them were the founders of many of the open source communities. Now they have like changed into working around open data specifically, but it was really great. And I managed to make a lot of connections, especially with a lot of women and non-binary folks there to talk a little bit about how can we create some sort of like Latin American network to understand the EI practices in open source spaces? And that was that that happened in Uruguay in the beginning of November. And then I went on to Argentina to also have a meetup there with open source communities, but that political situation there, all of them canceled. <laughs> they're, they're, they were going through presidential election and it was a really tough one because the person who actually ended up winning was a somehow complicated person from any of people who are on the more progressive spectrum of politics um and then I went on to Paraguay also the reason why I went to Paraguay is because I know a lot of people there and also because it's an interesting community because many of the focus of the work that's been done in Latin America it's like the work of countries like Paraguay it's never seen you know it's like we're always talking about what Mexico is doing what Chile is doing Argentina is doing or Brazil is doing so this was like a really nice and interesting experience I met with one of them because the other two people canceled as well and there are really focused right now with the Python community, but they're really open into understanding more about what chaos is doing and how can they be part of us and how can we support them as well. So that's pretty much my, oh yeah. And also, sorry, I talked to, um, this is a digital right defenders organization in, in Argent in Mexico called Social Tick, And they are also part of like the open source ecosystem in Mexico, and they are also working around supporting newcomers to the Digital Rat Defenders community. And they're willing to expand that into working with more broadly open source communities as well, because again, most of us are all in the same, like all of the communities end up like kind of merging together, like people that participate in those communities. So yeah. In, is that is that a good enough update? <laughs> great update. That's, that's fantastic, Stella. Yay! Also, people, if you have if you have contacts here from other folks in Latin America who would like to participate in the like in the Latin American chapter, please ping me over Slack, or you can like send me an email. I'm gonna put my email here again. Stella, did you get a sense of? Um, when you said like maybe how we could support the work that they're doing like what that would be what that they, support would be they kind of need support in for example at least with the people that I talked to in Faraway right um, he yep. said that they're having like issues into creating like not the code of conduct but like for example making their events and their gatherings and their meetups more inclusive to people because once again and no surprise at all like 99% of their community are basically men, right? So kind of like that kind of support. And also, for example, some of them 
were interested in what we are doing on ChaosCon, so that would be interesting for them. Also, maybe try to apply for some of our travel grants and participate for the first time in ChaosCon to understand more about what we do and so on and so on. I also invited them to our Slack channel, so hopefully they'll join. If not, also, I understand that it's like the end of the year in yeah. Paris, it's terrible because it's summer, so it's like 50 degrees Celsius and nobody, and ugh, it's terrible. So people are barely surviving there right now. So I'm just trying to give them a chance to just like wait up until like February or something. Okay, that's yeah. cool, thanks. Yeah, Stella, amazing update. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> um, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic work, um, yeah. Do you do you sleep ever? Like what? what oh, no, I don't, I don't. <laughs> And especially yeah. not this week because I'm prepping for a, a fellowship interview this week, and then I have the PhD dissertation next week. Ah, da, da, da. <laughs> that'll be great. You'll do great. That'll be fun. Thank you. And I'm proud of myself when I go to the grocery store instead of having my groceries like show up at my door because I'm lazy. Stella, you're amazing. Jeez. No, I'm also I'm also proud of like doing laundry at least. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, to do but laundry. I don't mind like yeah i don't have any of this other thing okay um you're awesome and I, we really appreciate that and just a reminder to folks um if you would like to kind of stay stay in touch and, and keep up with Sally, you can join the um this channel on our slack it would be great any questions for Sally? any comments anything else before we move on all right Excellent work. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. Chaos DEI badging updates. Matt, I'm sure. You yeah, can it was just I just wanted to give people a real quick update. So Kingsley has designed a new badge uh, just as part of that process. Um, we're just kind of deciding on it. So the, basically, I guess the update is Kingsley's doing a lot of design work on the website and the artifacts associated with project badging. Um, and I think the 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 hope was or the it was mentioned that he might be done towards the end of the week uh and then starting to get this design work up on the front end so just still moving forward and ruth, just kind of adding like, yeah yeah why you, I, you have comments ruth go ahead no worries um so just kind of adding why we're doing i don't know if you mentioned that why we're doing the kid new website design is we're trying to bring in all the budget stuff like event budget project budget together um just have them on one page because um it would be very difficult to navigate if we have different websites everywhere and they're all under the same umbrella so we're bringing everything together and since they were all done at different phases, um, you know, event budget started pretty, <laughs> the website started pretty early before even we decided to start project budget. So the the interfaces are different um, and that's not good um, UI wise. So like we're just bringing everything together and just having one dedicated website for everything budget and then having different pages in that website for project budget and event budget. So um, yeah, so we're working on that. Um and um we'll have it up soon. Um so yeah, so in case you go to the website and it looks very different. So yeah. Awesome. Any questions, other comments on this? All right, fair enough. Um, I want to make sure people saw this post today from Matt, Don, and Sean, which is like so thought leadery and so well written. I just love it so much. Um, super interesting on how AI is going to affect open source in terms of provenance and contributions and engagement and um, just some of the questions that will be raised. So thought leaderfulness, yes. <laughs> Very uh, <laughs> one of the pack. What is the, I don't know. Forward yeah. thinking. That's that's what I want. Impact is very few words. Mm. Very few letters. It's a very short word. I know. 
it's not buzzy enough that impact yeah no thought for full leader fullness way better <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, everyone should read this. Um, we also posted this to LinkedIn. So uh, if you are on LinkedIn and you would like to give it a little boost, that would be amazing. Um, hopefully you're following chaos and can just hit the repost button. That would be great and share it with your networks because it's really well, well written and well thought out. Um, I also curiously, uh, at, when I posted it to LinkedIn, I said, well, hey, we want to hear what you think. And then we promptly turned off comments on this post. So hopefully, hopefully people will just comment on LinkedIn or come to the yeah. Asking for comments on AI right? in any context is just begging for trouble. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we do care what people think because we are we do yeah. have a conversation, but maybe not in comments on a word on a WordPress site. So yeah. Don't read the comments section usually oh, in the yeah. public. Yeah. Um, so the, actually, this was a question for you, Matt, or, or Don or Sean, where would you like people to engage with this topic? Would it be the OSPO working group or? Uh, oh, we didn't include a call to action. We didn't. No, I, I don't know. They could do it on LinkedIn. Yeah, I was going to, I was actually going to talk about it in the last OSPO working group, but we ran out of time. Okay. That's where I thought it had come up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So if anybody here has comments, they can either make them now or go to LinkedIn and make them. <clears throat> or I guess on Slack too, we could talk about it on Slack. That'd be cool. Uh, and then one final thing. Uh, uh, anyway, so thank you, Don, Sean, Matt, for doing that and writing that out. Appreciate that very much. Uh, the last thing on the on the agenda is I was wondering if we had any collective interest in doing a end of year virtual hangout. I feel like maybe we did this once or twice. Like a holiday, like a holiday party online? Yeah, just like, hey, let's just chill and I don't know. We made donuts. We made virtual donuts. Right, yeah, we had the like white space and we all just, <laughs> I don't know, screwed around for like a half an hour. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know. No, no work. For badging, like we did it for badging. Was it for badging? Yeah. It was for something. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. If people do have an interest, I'll schedule something. Um, if not, that's also valid. If y'all are like, absolutely not. I see your faces so much already. I can't bear it another half an hour. That's also fine. I'm probably online anyway. I can have a beer with you on the internet. It was surprisingly fun. Because we we talk about work so much, but we don't really have a lot of like, I mean, you know, we do these questions in our in our uh, meetings, you know, a little bit, but I don't know, it's just fun to get to know people a little bit more on, on just a more relaxed. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can get more relaxed to this kind of meeting, but <laughs> in our community meetings, they are pretty relaxed, but yeah. Um, am I seeing, so is there any, is there any thumbs ups or plus ones? If not, that's, that's totally fine. Like, would what's you all come? What's I mean, the proposed date? For I that? don't know. Yeah, whenever. I could do like a doodle and see when the most people could come or something. I don't no, know. I would, just, I would just pick a date and time. Yeah. yeah, throw it on the calendar when it works for you and we'll all be there if we can. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, all right. And if I'm here by myself, that's also valid. I'll hang yeah, out. Exactly. My dogs. That's all I need. <laughs> cool. All right. I think that's it. I think now we have the last uh, 12 minutes for Chaos Con planning. So if you are uh, on that committee, you want to stick around, great. If you don't want to stick around, that's your prerogative. Um, but for everybody else, yeah, you absolutely do not have to stick around. So. Tuesdays at 11 should be open for all of us. Sophia, that is an excellent point. We could just do it at the time that we do this. That would be great. You're so smart. Oh, gosh. I love it. Um, whoever, Sean, do you want to stop recording? Yes. Like, yes, I do.